Hey guys, this is Liam Resnikov. I'm here from VT1 Gym in Chatswood. We are a member of the Gracie Sydney Association under Bruno Pano and Hoyler Gracie. And we're here to show you some little things that should help your jiu-jitsu game. So, as you guys know, Gracie Jiu-Jitsu is about the little details and the things that make your jiu-jitsu work, the things that people don't often show you. So this is one of those simple things we're gonna show you now that will make a big difference for your choke, okay? Often when people go for chokes here on the collar, they take the hand, they just pass and they start looking for their choke. Say for example, our bow and arrow choke, a very common choke, I'm sure you guys all know it. It does work even if you do it slightly wrong, but what happens is you'll find during the tournament, okay, or during a hard wrestle when the guy's adrenaline's pumping, that you just can't finish that choke. The same goes for our doorbell choke. I'm sure you guys have got other names for it, it doesn't really matter, our doorbell choke, you know, our single wing choke. It doesn't really matter which choke you're doing, but one of the problems is, it's the first thing you do that makes the big difference. Okay, so when I'm taking the collar over here, I call it passing the blade. So watch here. I don't just grab like this. Yeah, you can choke, but it's not the right thing. It's like doing a guillotine with the flat of your palm, okay, the flat of your wrist, as opposed to the blade. So I'm here. I take the gi like this and I open it up. I pass it and I turn it so that the blade is cutting right into the web of my hand here. This makes all the difference when you're choking. I pass it over. It doesn't matter if you're doing a clock choke as well, this is the same tip. I pass the blade, thumb comes in, and then I grab it, okay? Making sure the power is coming from the three bottom fingers, not the top two, okay? This, there's no real muscle mass attached to these two. Muscle mass is attached to the bottom three. So I take the, the gi, I turn the blade, and I pass it into the web. I slide it, grab it, and now when I choke, you'll see Chris's face turn red straight away. Easy choke. Make sense guys? And the same goes for our, our doorbell choke. I take it, I pass the blade down, not like this. I pass the blade down, thumb curls, grab here, and now all I'm gonna start doing is I just straighten my elbows, boom, easy choke. So guys, that's a little tip for you guys. Just one quick thing, the same goes for the clock choke over here. When I'm clock choking, you just grab here, it's the wrong angle. I take it, the lapel, I turn it like it's a knife, the, that's the blade over here, I pass into the web. Thumb curls to get the right angle, I grab it, and now you can do the clock choke, you can finish in many different ways, it doesn't really matter how you like finishing it, the point is the blade's facing in now. Otherwise you've just got the flat part, the pressure's just spread across too large an area. So I turn it in, the blade turns in, I grab it, pinky pulls down, I go for the wrist here, I go for the gear, it doesn't really matter which one, I lock it in, and one, and it's finished. So guys, that's another little tip for you, okay, that should help your collar chokes work a little more effect effectively or efficiently, okay, so that's what Jiu Jitsu is about.